Hi everyone, Kathleen Brooks here, Research Director at XTB. It's been a busy start to the week for markets. Traders have to digest election results in Mexico and India, along with the latest twists and turns in the UK election, including the return of none other than Nigel Farage, and the latest polls showing an even bigger lead for Labour. So far, this hasn't had a major impact on UK asset prices, but it's still early days in this election campaign. Now, the main focus this week is the ECB meeting. They're expected to cut rates by 25 basis points to 3.75%. However, the market will be looking for signals about what will come next. The chance of further rate cuts from the ECB have been scaled back in recent weeks. As economic data has picked up and inflation also rose above expectations for May, this has reduced the chances of a rate cut in September to 62%. The market is now only expecting two and a half rate cuts from the ECB. A few weeks ago, the market had expected three rate cuts. If the ECB delivers a hawkish cut, i.e. they cut rates at this week's meeting and then push back on expectations of further cuts, we could see movement in the euro. Euro dollar has been stuck in a tight range between 108 and 109. A hawkish cut from the ECB could see the euro break above the top of this range and potentially target the 110 level. Elsewhere, the oil price has fallen sharply and Brent crude oil fell below $80 per barrel at the start of this week. At the time of recording, it was trading at $77 per barrel, the lowest level since early February. The sharp decline is down to weakness in the US economy and also the prospect of extra supply coming online from OPEC. This is a toxic mix for the oil price. Now, the Indian stock market, the Nifty 50, fell more than 8.5% after polling showed a drop in support for the ruling BJP party. The BJP were expected to win a big majority, but as votes are being counted, it looks like they won't win the landslide expected, although they have won the majority of seats. However, the lack of a super majority could make it hard for Modi's party to push through tough labour and land reforms, which were his main campaign message. The Indian stock market has warmed to Modi's campaign message of boosting growth in the world's largest population. And now that his reforms are threatened, Indian stocks are selling off. The election result in Mexico is also impacting Mexican stocks. The Mexican stock market fell 6% at the start of this week, led by healthcare and financials. The landslide win for the ruling party, led by the first female president, Claudia Scheinbaum, has spooked the market. Investors are concerned about the prospect of government meddling in the economy and the chance that they would change Mexico's constitution. This is another reminder that elections can move markets and trigger volatility. There are still plenty of elections to come this year and the potential for more volatility. That's all for now. Thanks for joining.